Step 1. Click on Schedule Lessons. Step 2. Select a student. You can select a single student, multiple students, or no students if you'd like to add them later on. The third step is to set a lesson title. If you select a single student, the student's name will be set as the title by default, but you can change this to anything you'd like. Step 4. Description. To add a description for the lesson, click on the Add Description checkbox. Step 5. Select a tutor, service, and location. Please note these are required. Step 6. Available spaces. If the lesson is open to more than one student, you can enter a limit. Leave the limit field blank if you'd like no limit. Step 7. Lesson Duration. Select the start and end date and times for the lesson. Step 8. Repeat Settings. You can schedule repeating lessons by simply checking the repeat box. A window opens up with the repeat settings and includes a wide range of options such as repeating by day, week or month, spacing between lessons and ending on a specific date or after a specific number of lessons. The selected repeat settings will be displayed next to the checkbox. Step 9. Schedule Lessons. Click the Submit button to schedule the lessons. To quickly add a lesson directly from the calendar, simply click on the relevant time slot and follow the prompts. This can be done in all of our calendar views. If you select a student with defaults that are saved on their profile, these fields will be pre-filled automatically. Click the Check Conflicts button to find any availability, appointment, or location conflicts for the scheduled lessons. You can easily move lessons to a new time slot by clicking and dragging them in the calendar. If you wish to edit a lesson, click on it in the calendar and then select the edit option.